crazy enough to go ahead with that project, then we know where it's heading because Russia has assured that they will strike back. So that's that's the real threat in the build-up to 2018. If those bases do get the go-ahead, they're, they're kind of wavering at the moment. But that's that's the flashpoint. That's a big flashpoint where Russia has said they will not tolerate it. So we're going to know by then if it if it explodes into a much bigger conflict. How do we stop it? I think there's hope in the fact that last August, September, we stopped an attack on Syria, which seemed imminent because the information we got was that there were uh, a lot of dissenting voices within the US military. So we stopped it then. Again, they normally ignore massive public relations campaigns, the popular, uh, you know, the popular approval of things. But if we've got people inside the US military that are now starting to wake up to how this uh, imperial American adventure is in fact harming America's interests, then I think we can be very hopeful that cooler heads will prevail, especially if we get um, someone in 2016 that at least rolls some of this back to a certain extent. For me, it's very clear what the establishment's doing. They think we're morally bankrupt. They think we don't know what planet we're on. And for about 50% of the public, that's true. Americans are very isolated. Most of them obviously don't have uh, passports. It's sad to see how ignorant our country's become, but maybe 20, 30% are very informed, very upset from the numbers I've seen and what I see on the street and know what's happening and know it's wrong. And it doesn't matter if they have the majority of people not knowing their butt from a hole in the ground or not being able to find their rear end with both hands because a large portion of us and the people that work and are smart and run this country that actually do the work and live in the real world and have street smarts, we understand what's happening. I mean, we're not as immoral as they think we are. The military knows that we were giving Syria to Al-Qaeda and said no. The police are waking up that I talked to. In fact, I criticize police because we see bad examples of them, you know, on YouTube and everywhere. But most police I run into are absolutely informed and very freaked out, and they should be. Because they're going to be asked to carry out all this evil. Man, I wouldn't want to be a cop right now, i got to tell you. Sitting on top of... Uh, a, a stack of dynamite, literally. We've got to ask ourselves, do we really want to go over the edge and become North Korea writ large? But the establishment, I think, is miscalculating. Uh, and, and, and I think there's something wrong with them. That they think they can just start some big war so that the EU that's about to collapse can stay in place. I mean, that's what this is really about. The EU is collapsing, led by ourselves, Nigel Farage and others, Liberty is spreading all over the world, and they want to have a war to cover for Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan. And I just it's not going to work because everybody's going to know why we're poor. Everybody's going to know why we're in wars. People don't want war with the Russians. People don't want war with the Syrians. The Russians and Syrians haven't done anything. People go, why are you for the Syrians? Why are you for I've never been to Syria. Don't have one drop of Syrian blood. Never been to Russia. Don't have any Russian blood. But I, I don't like to attack people for no reason. I don't like to see Photoshop New York Times photos. I'm sick of it being done in my name, Paul. I think what's interesting in the immediate term, Alex, is there was a good video on this the other day from the Casey Research Group. The US military are being trained that there will be domestic unrest in the United States over the next two years. Uh, the housing figures that have come out recently show an exact mirror to what they were in 2007. So the US military are being trained that there's going to be in all probability another economic collapse bigger than the last one. And that's what they're getting geared up for, which is why now they're trying to characterize any dissent against the federal government as domestic terrorism, because they're the people, they need to demonize those people in order to train the US military to fire upon them. But you know, every, every piece of evidence we've seen is that most of them will be unwilling to do that. We had the 29 Palms survey many years ago, which said that. So that's the immediate concern is domestic unrest. We've seen it across Europe since 2010. We've seen it in the Arab world. There's a huge anti-establishment fervor sweeping the globe, the globe, and the establishment needs to hijack that and root it into their agenda to head it off. But it seems that they're increasingly unable to do so. That's right, and it's important to say if we had bad civil unrest that wasn't legitimate, 
and it was like French Revolution, the military would want to put it down. The issue is the globalists created the crisis to create the civil unrest to bring in martial law, so we can't allow that. We, ha we cannot allow the military to occupy. Thank you so much, Paul Watson. Thanks, Alex. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. You know about Emergency Essentials' lowest price promise. But have you heard about the one-day deals? You can save up to 70%. One-day deal emails go out every Thursday. So sign up at BePrepared.com or all month long. Save 47% on ASAP Silver Solution, 36% on the Mountain House Gourmet Entrees Combo, or 57% on freeze-dried shrimp. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. Criminals know that your wooden door frames are weak and your alarm system can't keep them out. That's the sound of the same door now protected by the door sentinel. Standard locks, deadbolts, and alarm systems can't prevent forced entry. Harden your door and door jam with a door sentinel. Protect your home now at MySafeDoor.com. Go to MySafeDoor.com for a special limited time offer. The door sentinel, your home's first line of defense. Listeners of GCN know governments and identity thieves around the world are illegally spying on our digital data. This puts you at risk of financial loss or potential targeting because of your political affiliation or spiritual beliefs. But now there's a new, free, and easy way to protect yourself. Regain your privacy and security now with Unseen. Unseen is a free digital communication service that offers email, chat, audio, and video calling, plus cloud storage. All secured with unparalleled encryption and is hosted in Iceland, where your data is protected by some of the strongest privacy laws in the world. For a limited time, GCN listeners get a 20% discount when upgrading to Unseen's premium service, which offers more storage and even greater security. Plus, get huge discounts when you buy multiple premium accounts, perfect for your family, Bible study, political action group, or business. This isn't just your average radio ad. This is a call to action. You now have the power at your fingertips to stop Big Brother in his tracks. So why wait? Go to UnseenNow.com and take action today. That's UnseenNow.com. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind Ladies and gentlemen, foreign powers went into Ukraine when they voted to not join the EU Three months ago Overthrew it Blew up police stations, burned vehicles And now the West and the CIA That works for the globalists, not America CIA basically sets the policy for the media, all the anti-gun, anti-family stuff. That's admittedly them. The ugly degenerate art programs, that's been declassified. That's them. 
they are basically launching offensives in different cities of eastern Ukraine, and Vladimir Putin has warned of consequences. Uh, Slavyansk is the main city right now where the offensive is taking place. Slavyansk. Putin warns of consequences as Ukraine steps up offensive. President Vladimir Putin warned Ukraine against continuing its anti-separatist offensive against government troops as they killed five rebels and prompted Russia's military to begin new drills on the two nations' border. If it's true that the current regime in Kiev sent the army against citizens in its country, then this is a very serious crime against its own nation, Putin said today in St. Petersburg. I will have, it will have consequences for the people who make such decisions, including relations between our countries. We will see how the situation develops, and we'll make conclusions based on the reality on the ground. And the Ukrainians are releasing it themselves through, through AFP. Ukrainian special forces take up positions in the Ukrainian city of Slavyansk, uh, and that was today on this Thursday, the 24th. We'll put that on screen for TV viewers. It's a Bloomberg article linked on the left-hand side of DrudgeReport.com. We also have similar videos and reports of helicopters and tanks up on Infowars.com. So Putin's saying if it's true, it is true. And uh, I don't know, the Russians could invade tomorrow. My gut tells me they realize that the West is going to stand their ground this time. The Soros forces are going to stand their ground. But the globalists need a big diversion. And if Russian tanks come into Ukraine, all hell is going to break loose. And, and if the West doesn't back down, the Russians last time rolled mobile ICBMs into Georgia and said, we have targeted NATO bases and we'll start firing in one hour. And then NATO announced they were pulling out. I don't know if that's going to happen here. This is just insane. And, and, and again, I told you, folks, th there would be sectarian violence. There would be Russians wanting to take over the towns and make it Russia. That the Ukrainians would then attack that. And then the Russians would come in. And I mean, it's going that direction. And I know it's important, you know, that the NSA watch everyone in America and, and, and what our uh, surfing habits are, and, and, and give that to the Fortune 500. I know it's important for uh, checkpoints to be on the highways and the TSA to change babies' diapers, literally. Check babies' diapers. There's a new video of that up on InfoWars.com. But this is just madness. And we're just sleepwalking over the edge of a cliff here. And they're announcing on the news with NATO generals, I watched it yesterday, Going, yeah, we're here to send a message to Russia that if they do anything, we'll militarily attack them. And we want to cut off the Russian gas as a message and make them buy U.S. gas. U.S. gas. You mean globalist gas. And by the way, people always say, you, you don't believe in man-made global warming because you're in Texas. I bet you're in oil. I personally don't have any oil stock or oil money. I uh, have had family that were petroleum geologists and oil field workers and lease hounds. And of course, most of my family's worked in, in oil, especially grandfathers and stuff like that. Both my grandfathers worked in oil. That was the main job in Texas. But that's why I know about oil. The only money we get from petrochemicals is some little gas wells that, that my dad gets a piece of, family splits it up. And they would make more money because if they don't use oil, you use gas. And the gas industry actually lobbies against oil. So you would think I would want U.S. gas to be shipped be a super tanker, gas tanker to uh, Europe, but that's not what any of this is about. Uh, so if I was just thinking about, a lot of people think about it as their interest. Well, gas prices are three dollars per British cubic foot or whatever it is, British cubic yard. I forget the calculation. Wow, if it goes back up to, you know, fifteen dollars per MCF, I think's the term. Why then we'll get a lot of money. Go ahead, cut off the Russian gas. That's not how I think. Cut off all the oil, because then I'll get more money in global warming money. You know, it's just it's just mindless. I don't even think what are my interest. But the average good old boy out there, that's how they think. Or I go, hey, they're shutting down coal power plants all over the country. I don't own no coal plant. I don't care. Really, you get half your power from coal, or used to. I don't have any interest in coal. But I'm against shutting it all off. It's half the country's power. We can't compete with Mexico, China, and India and 160 plus other third world countries if they've got dirty coal, unlimited, nothing, and then we can't have clean coal.
We're dead ducks. They're shutting off our fuel supply. Energy, energy, energy. We're on the march. I want prosperity. 